The water feature project at La Primavera Urbana in Villa Vicencio, Colombia is a one-of-a-kind work of art. This project is really unique in the fact that it's located right smack in the middle of Colombia, kind of a stone's throw from Bogota, but it's right at the base of the Andes Mountains. In 2014, Aquascape starred in our own reality TV show. It was syndicated throughout the world. And actually, Colombia, the station, and the TV show were super popular. So all of a sudden, we get a call from this company in Colombia saying we're building the shopping center. We would love to sit down, meet with you, strategize a little bit, talk about our potential project, and then you could show us around and look at some of uh, your local water features. I'm like, absolutely. So they come on out, and you know what? We hit it off. The nicest people ever. But what I think was really sold it to me was they wanted to create a shopping center that wasn't just a run-of-the-mill shopping center. They wanted something that was unique, not only to Colombia, but to the entire world. They didn't want the outside space and the inside space. They wanted to make it look like the jungle literally cut itself right through the heart of this building. We have a big giant water feature in the back. That's the main courtyard feature. This is going to be filled with lush gardens, beautiful big giant ponds loaded with lush tropical plantings and fish and all types of life and walkways and pathways interacting and connecting everything. This facility, it's not just your average shopping center. There's office space there, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's cafes, and the one common element to all of them is that they look down at this water feature and it just invites you and pulls you out of that space into the gardens. To go with this grand shopping center, you have to have a grand entrance, and they nailed it. I mean, there's this massive staircase that leads itself from the roadway right up into the building itself, and it almost looks like a Roman Colosseum. The challenge with that is you have to scale it down a little bit. You don't want it to be intimidating to people. You actually want to draw them in. So what we did, we came up with this wonderful design of having these beautiful, massive waterfalls flanking either side of the staircase. So what it's doing is it's bringing the people right off the street. They're being drawn in by the sights and the sounds of the crashing water that are going over these mammoth boulders that we're bringing in right from the very mountains that we're adjacent to working on. So this was just an unbelievable project for us in, in many, many ways. In order to pull off a project of this magnitude, we needed to reach out to the best of the best. And we had to look no further than the master certified Aquascape contractors. The attention to detail is second to none. The scope, the magnitude, the artistry that these guys have was the perfect complement for us. These guys come in, they know their job, they know what needs to get done, and they pull the team together. So it was our job as running this entire project just to oversee and manage these guys to make sure that everything was being done that we said was gonna be done according to our contract to the owners of the property. We worked hard on this project, but we always found time to recharge our batteries. And what I mean by that is on the weekends, we would go up into the mountains. We would go out with Nicholas, who was just an unbelievable host. He was one of the owners of the, uh, of the development company. He wanted to take us out, not just to show us what his beautiful area looked like, the surrounding countryside, but we wanted to see firsthand what actual rivers and streams in Colombia looked like, because that's what we were building. We wanted to emulate these things. We wanted to mimic exactly what was found in the local rivers and streams of, of the surrounding area. So he took us on these long, beautiful hikes when we would spend the full day gathering ideas and utilizing all this information to create one-of-a-kind unique works of art. In the course of the six-month project, I was personally on site for four and a half months. So it was a huge commitment from myself as well as my family to go down to South America to complete this project. Thankfully, my oldest son Austin, 19 years old, out of high school, he's helped me on projects in the past. I was able to bring him down to assist us with this project. It gave me a little comfort to have him with me down there to work with the uh, master certified aquascape contractors and be a part of a project of this magnitude was just a really unbelievable experience for both of us. Any large scale water feature project has its logistical challenges and this one <laughs> had its share to say the least. Nothing we couldn't overcome, obviously, but it would set us back. I mean, let's start off with the rain. This is in a rainforest area. We kind of tried to schedule everything in the dry period, but if it wasn't raining, it was scorching heat. So we had just this intense tropical heat coming down on us. And here we are coming out of North America. We're not used to that tropical sun. It took its toll. It beat up everybody on a daily basis. We'd be drained at the end of the day. And then if it wasn't hot, it was pouring rain and we're slopping around and sloshing through the mud. And when it rained, 
everything would slow down to a halt. I mean, everything from moving the equipment to getting truckloads of materials. We literally had hundreds and hundreds of truckloads coming together during this construction process. We had language barriers. We speak a little bit of Spanish, they speak a little bit of English, and between the two of us, <laughs> it was a challenge. I mean, just trying to work with one another. The electricians and the plumbers and coordinating. We had to coordinate the hardscapes and we had to work with the site engineers to make sure that proper elevations were being met and water levels were gonna match up with the finished surface areas of the different floor levels. So we had to coordinate all these things under all this chaos. And by the end of the project, we worked together to create this beautiful work of art. And let me tell you what, it is truly a work of art. Just over a year from our initial meeting and the project is finally completed and it looks spectacular. It was probably one of the greatest compliments I could ever have when Camilo, the owner of the development company, said, Ed, he's like, this is the best money I ever spent. I couldn't have envisioned it any better. And right after all this stuff was completed, they had the, the grand opening and it was an unbelievable event. I mean, it was literally a Las Vegas show style event in the middle of Villa Vicencio, Colombia. I'm talking full fire effects, fireworks, music, live bands. They had people dressed up in these unbelievable costumes. I mean, just this otherworldly experience all focused around water and the entire community got behind it. I mean, talk about a, a satisfaction. We fought together, we sweated together to make this all happen, and here it is, it's finally complete. The community can finally enjoy it, and we could see the smiles on everybody else's faces as well as our own as they interacted with the water, and it was just an experience I will never forget.